All right, for On the Floor, brought to you by Cedarwide Banks. Four topics, 30 seconds each. Let's do it. First one, Chad Ford's latest mock draft has Justice Winslow in Denver going to the Nuggets with the seventh pick overall. Would Justice give the Nuggets hope? Uh, well, first of all, I must say I went to Chad Ford's latest mock draft, and it said uh, Russell hasn't made his decision yet. So this is kind of an old, I mean, this is not put down to the question. I'm just saying he, he didn't even have Russell. D'Angelo Russell he, yeah, from Ohio State? Have, so that's going to affect that to begin with. It's yeah. a little bit old, uh, even though it just came out, but he didn't have Russell yeah. turn pro. Would Justice give the Nuggets hope? Uh, no. That's not that's not it for me. That's well, define hope. What, what what are we talking about? Hope here. Well, Meaning, like is question. he a franchise player? Um, no, he's a good player. I don't know that he's a franchise is he player. Carmelo Anthony, and you can think no. whatever you want to about him, or is he LeBron James? Uh, let me uh, go through the you know the, the is he Chris Paul? No, no. Okafor, Muade, Towns, Towns. Those are the guys that. Our Those, franchise changes. This is not a great draft. Let's face it. It's not a great draft. So I think the top of the draft is pretty darn good. After you get past three or four, then you're talking about a bunch of guys well, who could you, be nice NBA players. This guy could be a nice NBA player. You know, my second, he plays both ends of the court. Yeah. Um, not my, a great shooter, but he can score. He can slash. My, my uh, second highest wish right now in regard to ping pong balls and stuff like that is that the Nuggets – are able to get one of those top three or four. Yeah. My number one is that I get the ping pong balls that are five plus that other one, the the one that's yellow or whatever. That's number one in my life is lottery I win Powerball. Powerball, yeah. Yeah. Number two would be the Nuggets do <laughs> right. well. Speaking of lottery, or number two, you do well. You win Powerball or something. Like and that. then I'll give you a few bucks to, here and there. I guess we have to. Right. I have to buy some tickets in order to win. Though. Number two, Phil Jackson of the Knicks. He runs the Knicks. He says he would consider trading the lottery pick. Um, what do you want in return? <laughs> I don't, I don't pay attention to what he says. He was a great coach. I think he was the greatest. I think he, because Red Arback had players for years and years, even though he had Michael Jordan, he had Kobe Bryant, he had Shaquille O'Neal, he is terrible as a general manager. Well, it hadn't been good so far, yeah. You know, he, well, you know, my plan B is this. And the, you know, okay, you didn't win executive year. Ha ha, I've lost sleep over it. Well, you should have won worst executive in the year in the NBA. What do I want in return? And considering trading a lottie prick, it depends. If it's the, if it's if the if number it's the one pick, pick yeah. Uh, yeah, you're going to get some crappy player like a follow. I'll, you know? I'll assume <laughs> I, I'll, I'll assume we mean here the number one pick. And if what I want in return is I, I want to pick later in the first round, not out of the top eleven though. Uh, I want to I want to pick in the first round, yeah. and I want a couple of players. Who can actually play the game? Because the Knicks don't have enough guys who can play. Okay, the game. you'd rather have you'd rather have three or four kind of players, or you could have have Patrick Ewing. Three or four what kind of players? Yeah, I want Patrick Ewing. Well, then why would no, you trade? No, I'm him? not. But that wasn't my question. That was our producer's question. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm answering it the way I want to. I mean, Pat, maybe he's not old. I'm sure he is, Josh. Old enough for, but Patrick Ewing, <laughs> would you have rather had a bunch of those? Average players or Patrick Ewing? Patrick Ewing got them to the finals, I think. I'd rather have Patrick Ewing. Yeah. Brett yeah. Favre's number is being retired. Are the Packers fans over him leaving for the rival Minnesota Vikings? Well, they should be. He gave them a lot of great years. He went to, I remember him going to back to back Super Bowls and winning one and coming within a couple of plays of winning the other and being the Denver Broncos and depriving them the first one. He gave them a lot of winning years. It's those people that want to throw. Peyton Manning to the curb. Yeah, great. Okay, so the people here, Joe Williams included, wanted to trade John Elway because he won two Super Bowls. So if you hadn't gotten over it, you know what? It's your problem. You should move to Appleton. <laughs> I'm with you. Time heals all wounds. Brett Favre gave you a lot of great years. He gave he you a Super leave. Bowl championship. He didn't leave. They now that, threw they, him out yeah, the door. They, they wanted to put Rodgers into yeah. the starting lineup. And that worked and, out well. And you know what? I don't blame the problem was he went to Minnesota, which is about this far from Green Bay and in the same division. And, and that bothered Packers fans more than anything. But you know but what? He needed the, a they, place to they, play. They and got he, rid and, of him. Where he went right, to where he could exactly. get a job. All right, last thing. Best ballpark toppings for your hot dog. That's that's really a good question. You know, of, of you want me to go? Four. Let me go first yeah, on this because let me think about that. I'm a basic guy. Okay. First of all, it's not a dog for me. It's a brat. 
I'm including well, sure, that in this category, sure. right? Well, and with a brat, they're they're really tasty if you get the good ones, the Johnsonville brats, like yeah. at the Milwaukee Brewers Park, and and they're plump and they're juicy, and you bite into them, and the juice just squirts all over the place. And because they taste so good, I don't want to put too much on there. So I'm a little bit of mustard, hot mustard preferably, plus the great poupon. And and I like a little bit of relish to give me that sweet taste. Oh, so why are you putting relish I'm, on it? I'm going mean, mustard and a little bit of relish because I'm from Chicago and that's what we do. And if you tell me if you tell me ketchup, I'm never speaking to you again. Oh, well, I do, you'll never hear that out of my mouth. Okay, good. I mean, ketchup on a hot dog is like putting... Uh, who was that... It should be illegal. Who was that actor that married... Julia Rob, Julie Roberts, the uh, it was Lyle Singer. Lovett, the musician. Ketchup on a hot dogs like Lyle Lovett, on on no, Julia no, no, Roberts. No, no, I'm not going there <laughs> with Julie Roberts. No, I'm not going where you're going. But I'm just saying, the ketchup doesn't belong on hot dogs. But the millennials, how many of you guys put ketchup on your hot dogs? I bet there are about six of them. Do you yeah. really? See, you're fired. They put ketchup. They put ketchup on hamburgers. They put ketchup on everything. They put ketchup on ketchup. I never see anybody. You put ketchup. Oh, here's some ketchup. Here, let me put some ketchup. All right, on so it. what do you put uh, on? Uh, dog toppings. You know what I would like, uh, and I can't ever find it, but I want really good New York Coney Island chili. I don't want beans in my chili dog. I don't Chili's want. Chili's good on a dog. I don't I like want that too. the chili that's runny that comes out of the hot dog. I want the really good ground beef. Pork? You like pork in your chili? No. No. I want a good, tough chili. In Detroit, downtown Detroit, they've got Coney Island places in New York. I don't want that, you know, that slab of chili where it's just graced, it's brown. Yeah, stuff. no thanks. And it comes out both sides. Of your mouth? Uh, I, I don't want to or, ruin or, the, or the container. If I, <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you just totally screwed that question up, did you? 